All right, so I'm making my daily video. <laughs> watching the world burn, baby, watching the world burn. New attacks highlighting the vulnerability of the U.S. power grid. On Sunday, Christmas Day, three power stations in Washington state were broken into, two of them vandalized. As a result, Tacoma Public Utilities and Puget Sound Energy reported 14,000 customers were left in the dark. Officials posting a message urging customers to report outages. You think nothing of when you turn on a light switch, but whenever you haven't had power for a few days and turn on a light switch, it, it means it's just everything. The attacks come after at least five power substations were reportedly attacked in Washington and Oregon last month. And we have confirmed that this was malicious intent, this was no accident. And two more in North Carolina earlier this month. The targeted shootings at power substations left entire towns in Moore County without power for days. The local sheriff saying Duke Energy crews saw someone shooting from a vehicle near a power plant, then speeding off. Shell casings at the two sites recovered. Search warrants issued in the case, but it wasn't clear if they were for a person or people in the area. Every investigator working on this case, state, local, and federal, know what you want, and that's answers. Many substations are vulnerable because they're in remote areas and are mostly unattended. As for the Washington state attacks on Christmas Day, a statement from the Pierce County Sheriff says deputies are conducting the initial investigation. We do not have any suspects in custody. It is unknown if there are any motives. All right, so I can't steal everything. <clears throat> but I, I just wanted to tell you, we are seeing the results of an open border. And this is what the Democrats want. This is what the uh, uh, Biden administration wants. We've got people pouring across the border. Uh, you know, you got the cartels, you got fentanyl, uh, hundreds of thousands of people dying. Um, so, yeah, guess what? Your power grid's going down, people. And uh, the Democrats are all for it. Democrats are all for it. So I'm just, just saying. Um, so, yeah. People are starting to attack the power grid across the United States. Now, I just want to draw a correlation here. And I got no evidence of this, but what what's happening right now in Ukraine? What are the Russians attacking? They're attacking the power grid. <laughs> so so now if if I was if if I was a Russian commander and I'm I'm at war with the United States, because they are, we are at war uh, with with Russia. What would I do? I would send uh, probably a couple of uh, special forces teams. I'd send them to the Mex Mexico, and I'd just have them come across the open border uh, uh, with some weapons. I'm sure it'd be easy to smuggle them across. And I'd start attacking the pow U.S. power grid. I don't think that would be very difficult to do. <laughs> In fact, I guarantee you it would not be very difficult to do. Because, uh, I mean, if you can get... Uh, hundreds of pounds of fentanyl across the border, I'm sure that you can get a couple weapons and, uh, and just start shooting up these substations all around the United States. And, and of course, this even goes into the bigger problem, <laughs> which is the, the lack of our infrastructure. You know, oh my God. I mean, okay, how many of you out there were without power during this deep freeze? I mean, luckily I didn't lose power and I was going to make a video about how to heat your house without power, and I didn't do it. I've just been too damn lazy. I admit it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, um, one point, I think it was, uh, last count I heard was 1.5 million people were without powder. I think power, uh, 25 people in New York died uh, from freezing to death. Uh, how many people are going to die in Europe? Um, I, boy, I tell you, that's, that's another horror story. Oh, my God. <laughs> Germany, <laughs> Germany has sabotaged themselves beyond belief. I mean, you know, the fact that they cut themselves off from all the Russia natural resources, uh, they're going to pay the price big freaking time. Uh, and what was it? There was, there was another thing that they cut themselves off from. I can't remember what it was. But anyway, I mean, uh, so the European Union, I mean, you know, they're, they're in their green new initiative and... Uh, I, I, I don't even understand it. You know, they, they shut down their nuclear power plants and uh, they just basically want their people to freeze to death this winter. But that's it for this video. Watching the world burn, baby, burn. Um, so uh, maybe I'll come up with something else. But 
I just thought I'd talk about the power grid and how vulnerable it is here in the United States. Um, it, it really doesn't take a lot to take it out. I mean, you know, if, if, if somebody's got a handgun, I guarantee you they could probably just go in there and just blast away at it across the fence. Well, hey, you wouldn't even have to have a handgun. You could just cut the lock with a bolt cutter on the fence and just go in there and take it out. I mean, do we have people guarding the substations? Uh, you tell me. I mean, in your local community, I'm, I'm thinking of like, because uh, I made a video about a substation in Lynchburg, Virginia, and uh, I don't recall ever seeing armed guards around that substation. I think they're pretty easy to take out. And now that we've got a million people that have come across the border, because the Democrats want that, that's what they want, um, how many of those people are terrorists? And they're going to start taking out our power grid. Just speculating, just saying, I don't know. I must be a conspiracy theorist. I'm a right-wing lunatic, right-wing lunatic. Peace out, stay free. And it's good, good, good to live in the free, free state of Florida. This is my Watching the World Burns update on December 26th, 2022.